When someone reaches adulthood in the liberal secular system of the West, supposedly around the age of 18 or 19 or 21, a new adult believes that the way to assert one's adulthood is by dressing in a revealing manner, constantly focusing on seducing the opposite gender, drinking alcohol, getting drunk, partying, smoking, fornicating, and behaving in a generally irresponsible manner for many years until they are tired of behaving that way and finally decide to grow up, if that ever happens. In Islam, on the other hand, when someone reaches adulthood, at the age of puberty, Islam teaches them that they are fully accountable for all their actions, the same as any adult, and therefore they must assert their adulthood by taking full responsibility for their actions, and must take the life choices very seriously. Therefore you will see them praying and fasting, wearing hijab and treating the opposite gender with respect, and working to maintain all of Allah's limits as much as they can. What a great difference between the two systems, where one system teaches you that you are free to do whatever you want at the age of adulthood, and the other system teaches that you are responsible for everything you do at the age of adulthood, and what a great difference in the personalities that each system produces when fully applied. It is important to understand that, freedom, in the West is specifically, freedom from God. The whole point of inventing secularism was to free the people from the oppression of the church during the Dark Ages of Europe, which is why they separated the church from the state and established the four freedoms, freedom of religion, freedom of ownership, freedom of expression, and personal freedom. They freed themselves from the rules of God, and became free, to live on earth however they choose, not however God decides. So, they became free to choose their own restrictions. No one ever simply became free to do anything they want. It is freedom to make up your own laws however you want, nothing more. But when a law is put in place, there is no freedom at all when it comes to implementing it. Any freedom you have in this system is actually a permission from the state for you to take that action. For example, you are not free to drive at any speed you want to drive without a seat belt or a license, but you are permitted to drive if you get a license and wear a seat belt and obey the traffic laws. You are also not free to not pay taxes, but you are permitted to spend your money within the legal means defined by law, as long as you pay taxes. You are also not free to marry more than one wife or husband, but you are permitted to have girlfriends and boyfriends and even cheat on your spouse all you want, and so on. You have no freedom in any way when there is a law in place. So, how is it that they claim you are free? The freedom given to you in the West, and propagated by liberal secularism, is freedom from the rules of God, and from anyone who is controlled by the rules of God. That is the only true meaning of freedom in this system. Therefore when you demand an Islamic right, do not demand it because you are free to do so, but rather demand it because the Islamic solution is better than any man-made solution, and we want to be free from the oppression of man-made systems and live under the safety and mercy of the guidance of the designer.